Aaron Donald will face discipline from within the Rams organization only after the fight. Oh, so, sorry, I, I worded that weirdly. No, it's, it's only, right. no, it's okay. You will face discipline from within the Rams organization only. Yeah. yeah. So, no, that's not good. So apparently the NFL governs all the rules of uh, of these practices, but they don't actually govern the discipline somehow. So I'm but not sure it was crazy, it. though. Like, my man was, like, swinging helmets. Had well, this is why I got a question for a Browns fan over here after seeing how Miles Garrett got treated. Oh. What do you think about the two helmet combo taking the two helmet combo to the head, not with no discipline? Probably. Wait, before you oh. answer that, before you answer that, what was his suspension after he six, did six, six games. games? Oh, he six got games. six. Okay. And now the only reason he got them six games is because it was in a game. I feel right. like that's the only reason why Miles Garrett got those games. Aaron Donald, you they usually – I don't think they – well, of course the NFL is not going to do much because it would have been a, a practice and stuff like that or whatever. And I'm not really sure. I didn't really get to see the entire video. All I just seen was Aaron, Aaron Donald just, you know, I guess he took helmet off of one dude and a helmet off the other dude, and he just got to swing it. Um, my, my thing with that is how the hell do you manage to take not only one but two? I was just about to ask that question too, like, bro, like, how do you let this grown ass man take off? Why your is your chin strap not one ass man? Like, hey, let me get this one too. So it's just like that. Just goes to show you, like, that's all Aaron Donald, man. I don't think I would even want to fight him at all, like, <laughs> seriously. But I mean, just just to answer your question though. Um, I mean, I'm not too mad about it, only because of the fact of, like I said, one was in a game and one was in a practice. So, um, the. And it was kind of like a national televised game as well. So I think the NFL Monday, like a Monday night. I think it was like a Monday or Sunday night, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I yeah, mean, I feel like the NFL, the NFL had to do something about that. You know what I'm saying? Then especially with it being, you know, I guess what us getting ready to win. I think we just blowing them out too, or whatever, something like that too. So no, I'm not too upset hey, about. Hey, John, you see, he had to throw that in there. We. Were- <laughs> Is blowing them out too. So, <laughs> I'm just stating. I'm just stating the facts, though. That's all. Like, like, did he make contact with Mason Rudolph's head, or was it just I, an empty swing? I think he like brushed his head. He I brushed him, he but it was like if he would have made contact, it would have been a lot worse because of the fact of he six didn't have him. Is a lot. I mean, they just almost gave Deshaun six, That's and like that was like a season. lot. You know what I mean? They were acting like six was a lot to give him. So I'm just saying, like. Anytime a player gets in trouble, like six is what they kind of, you know, the max they give them. Unless you're apparently Calvin Ridley, then they just suspend you indefinitely, which I think is still ridiculous, but whatever. Like, so, I mean, I was surprised six, you know, they were acting like he was super violent for what he did. And I was like, y'all talking crazy. Like, I didn't think what he did. Um, taking- I, what, my, my, my opinion about the whole thing is, though, whatever it was, though, because you never really see Aaron Donald act out like that. So whatever it was, it had to really piss him off to where towards, like, one of the Bengals or something had to go overboard. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Because, like, like I said, throughout Aaron Donald's whole career, of, you know what I'm saying, I've never really seen him act out like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen him. Uh, well, misses. You got to think, Aaron Donald is a – "Quote unquote small man playing a big man position." She is. like six feet. No, just listen. Hold on. So a lot of times, I I think with these taller linemen, six four, six, they like he little. So you know, you try to oppose your will, and Aaron like, bro, this ain't this ain't that. I know I'm six foot, but don't play me. But that's what I I'm think. Saying. That's what he has to prove himself a lot because people like. You little. You little. He's Aaron Donald. He ain't got shit to prove. People, He's Aaron. Like I said Aaron earlier, Donald. these are professional athletes. They so don't play. My name brings value to a team. What is your name doing? Nothing. Hey, you think you think the Bengals give a damn about that? Dude, they like, bro, you're a professional <laughs> just like me. We put on our clothes the same way. All that, but that's what I'm saying. They had to be one of the bangles pissing him off to where towards he had to go outside the box like that. But that I mean, bro, oh. Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald's name carries weight. He ain't got nothing to prove to no other lineman, regardless of how it tall or big he is. Carries weight, but these linemen still have a job, and their job is to stop 99. And they, they still can't care. stop. They don't care. It's like playing Tom Brady. Don't nobody care what you done did in the past. I'm trying to do my job today 
I just did this a couple months ago. I'll say this. Aaron Donald, like, I won't say they can't stop him. I mean, you, you're talking about you a position. Stop that man. You're talking about a position where a dude will stop you 50 times and then you get by him once and uh, they just go nuts on TV because you got by him and sacked the QB. Exactly. Aaron Donald is the greatest of that. But these offensive linemen are not getting – I know they get their little blurb, you know, like here and there, like, hey, uh, the, you know, the big guys up front did their job today. But really – like these guys don't get enough credit. They're definitely underpaid. Like these dudes stop these defensive linemen 50, 60 times a game, and then they get by once, and it's like that's the hero of the game because he got one sack. Even though you might sack him on first and make it second and seventeen, and then they throw a eighteen yard pass and get another first down, and your sack is a race just like that. Still, those sacks, like you know, they they show on the stat sheet like sacks, and these linemen don't get no stats. So I I do understand these linemen too. Is like they are sitting there feeling like we don't get the credit for what we do, and every time you get by us, you get all this credit. But Aaron Donald is the greatest man. He and he even does it think about it like this, he wasn't really a impactful in the Super Bowl until one of the linemen tried to bully him. They got into a scuffle, and then he went and dominated. So who's to say okay, that? Hang on, though. I mean, like they were. Say that whole second half, Aaron Donald was pretty much kind of point exactly. No, 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 no. He stepped up when it count, though. I mean, he doesn't have to do much in the yeah. first half, long as he steps up. They were, they were double and triple teaming him in the oh, first and, half. And, 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 that was the the only, and the only reason he went off in the second half is because they finally had to pay attention to Von Miller, and they said we can't just ignore Von Miller to double triple triple team this guy. And then when they stopped double teaming Aaron, he picked them apart. So like. That he was having an impact in the first half. You didn't see it on the stat sheet, but he was because but he they, was creating, they, he was I creating put it like this. things for Von Miller. He wasn't impactful, and he was getting irritated. And then he when was he was a bully, just listen, listen, Linda, relax. I'm that's all I'm saying. Who's to say that Sam Lyman that pissed him off in the Super Bowl still ain't got smoke for him now? Right? He said something on the low. He still ain't shit or something. We all know how this works. When you at the court, you don't care how many points dude done put up. You, we all say he ain't gonna do it to me. So let's not act like professional athletes don't have that same demeanor. Let's let's just be real about it. I get it, but my thing is, if I'm Aaron Donald, it had to be ex- something extreme. Like I'm talking about, they had to say something about his mama, his wife, or something. But why would he even care about something that this d- dude did from last year? And I just won a Super Bowl a couple months ago. Why, bro? I, I really they just played each other in the Super Bowl. That's what I'm saying. The Bengals I- still probably feel some type of way. The Rams probably still talking crazy. Like you know, y'all still ain't shit. Y'all ain't winning the Super. Bowl. You know, like come on, bro. We've heard it before. Let's not. Come on, bro. They, Aaron Donald probably was like, I won a Super Bowl. You didn't. Y'all still snake bin or something crazy. And dude probably like, well, F you, Donald. And tried to little bro him. And then Aaron like, look, this ain't that. Took his helmet off. Started swinging. It's, you know, come on, bro. It, it's amazing to think Aaron Donald might be smaller than people. Because if he took those two helmets to my head, they would my head would have popped like a pimple, man. Like between them helmets, like and that's what I'm saying. He but, might be a short guy, but dude, he is he's strong, yeah. He's small out here, though. You feel yes. me? So that's why I'm like that that little man syndrome. I don't think he's you know having that, in my opinion. Like, I mean, why do you need to? I, I don't no, know. I, I don't just, think he struggles from little man syndrome. I don't think he struggles from the little man syndrome either. But I mean, I'm just saying, I mean, Aaron Donald at the end of the day, enough of them. I'm trying to tell you, maybe the the day, whole room, he it was practice. Ready. This ain't it was, that. It was what practice, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it's not like it was in the in real game. Joint practices usually, I won't say joint, all joint practices kind of end up like that, but some type of scuffle between uh, comes pops up in joint joint practices because of the yeah. fact that these two different teams, and y'all, you know, y'all competitive, like Nico was saying. It's just, they it just, just came up, they just played each other in the Super Bowl. Yes, sir. So what, yes, sir. What do you consider a proper discipline for something like this? Because let's just say he had made contact with someone, right? Like we're, we're saying that it's nothing no, because he no. didn't make contact, yeah. but if he had but made let, contact. But let's be real though, the majority of these practices, we never really get to see though. It just so happened 
some guy was there with a camera or whoever was recording. We just actually seen this one. So I'm sure it's been worse shit, shit that's been happening in practice way worse than this. This just so happened to get caught on camera. So, I mean, I, yeah, I, I think that this one has, should be decided on by players probably like, listen, if you had done this or, or if this had happened to you, how would you, what kind of like that kind of thing. Um, but you know, I, I, cause here's the thing, you know what I mean? It's one of those things where like, it happens in practice, and even if you're the player who's getting swung at, like you ain't gonna go talk about it. And whatever happened, gone, moving on. But if you did get hit, and you know, I mean, it's that's a life changing thing right there. I mean, getting hit in the helmet, hitting the head with a helmet. That, so I, that's what I'm saying. I tell you, leave it up to the players to decide this kind of I this kind of stuff. At most, they'll find him. I was just about to say, just because he him. matters too much to that defense. And you playing the Bills first game? Of the I mean, year? the Rams aren't going to suspend him. That would be stupid. I, that's why I'm saying. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I agree with you. Listen. <laughs> I'm agreeing with you. I'm, I'm saying. Just yeah, gonna find him. It's going to be like yeah. a meal or something. Who knows? You know, or whatever. But give, give us some of that contract back. Hey, before we move on, Serena Williams is up 5-3. Uh, maybe she could win the first set here. We'll see.